What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Ghost Recon Wildlands and today I want to continue some of the LMG testing that I was doing with you guys recently. Now recently I tested the Stoner LMG out a little bit and I compared it directly across to an assault rifle but to be fair I kind of cared, I, I, I kind of tested it, uh, sorry, under assault rifle like conditions. So today let's try something different. Oh, speaking of which, so we are on, uh, let's go ahead and so I, I want to test, uh, I, I want to see an LMG. So what is its purpose in battle? Well, obviously it can fire a lot of rounds very accurately and uh, you don't have to reload much because you have a drum magazine. So you can see here we are on extreme. Let's start off, I just, just kind of happened to, let's see, what can we do? What kind of damage can we do to this, uh, this Unidad truck here? Let's just see. So, an LMG is going to be able to put a lot of rounds down range very accurately. And there we go. Perhaps I was wrong to compare it directly to an assault rifle because an assault rifle... I was going to try it on this convoy, but it looks like we're going to be doing Unidad. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be using it like an assault rifle, where I was, which I was using in conjunction with a sniper rifle. Maybe we should be using it like this. And let's see how much damage we can do with an LMG, <laughs> hopefully without dying. What I want to do is, here, let me pause the game here so I don't die. What I want to do is I want to kind of, let's, let's find out exactly what situation they're good for. I don't think enough people use LMGs. Now, the one that we're using right now is the RPK-74. Uh, this personally is my favorite. This comes with that Unidad uh, DLC that you can get. This is my personal favorite LMG. Let's try it some more. Let's see how holding off Unidad goes, and let's see if we can take that convoy as it comes. We're probably going to die. We will die at some point, but I want to see the effectiveness of it before that. Comparing it with an assault rifle perhaps wasn't the best thing because you don't use it exactly like an assault rifle. Yeah, 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 you know what I just said. It's taken down these vehicles pretty quick. Now, here's the problem. I wanted to do this convoy. Unidad is going to keep coming. Well, so we'll just do what we can. I, I, I guess an, an LMG's role in Ghost Recon Wildlands, if it, ha you know, if it has anything, its role would be suppressive fire. So let's practice suppressive fire here. Let's see if we can stop this convoy. Now, I don't have high hopes that we can. To be honest, okay, we're dropping a little short of that chopper. There we go, now we're hitting the chopper. We are in extreme difficulty, and we also have Unidad on us. This is not the best idea because we are undoubtedly going to die. But can we stop the convoy? Okay, well, we have other problems with Unidad right now. Let's see if we can stop the convoy. Let's just see if we can stop this convoy. It looks like... Let's get up a little bit. Now, these are more accurate than assault rifles. I think we've stopped the convoy. Let's deal with these Unidad. Where are they at? There they are. Oops, my aim is shit right now. Let's see if we can take these Unidad down. All right, let's go see if we can get this convoy. If we can actually do this, I, I don't see this happening. If we can actually do this, I named this test a success. So I started this video. This was pretty candid. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. I want to see what is the role of an LMG. Uh, now, you guys know I'm a fairly seasoned player. I wouldn't consider myself exactly you know, a pro with this game, but I know what I'm doing. And let's see what we can do with an LMG here. We got Unidad and a convoy. So I expect to die. I fully expect to die very soon yeah right now okay <laughs> okay so we bit off a bit more than we could chew right there with uh, the crazy unidad rating so okay so i started shooting at the car they were obviously alert now we've got them absolutely absolutely everywhere let's see okay here's the problem we got more coming from over here let's see if we can take these guys maybe and still get that convoy that would be amazing i did die once but if i could do this and still get this convoy here we're gonna go this way and try to avoid the unidad now there's gonna be santa blanca over here as well because there's a base right here who's shooting at me ah uh, those unidad over there are shooting at me 
These things are pretty accurate. Okay, we're going to leave those in a dead to fight with... Uh, here, let's be smart about this. Let's call in some rebel support. Let's see if we can still grab this convoy. If we do, I say mission success, but I might be speaking, you know, a little too soon here. Let's see what we can do about this this convoy up here. Let's see. Okay, so it says Unidad patrol lost, but you never really know what that means. All right. All right, let's see. Oh, that is a crap ton of Santa Blanca. Ah, okay, so we're down again. Of course, we're being, like, super reckless. Considering I'm on extreme difficulty, we are being eh, extremely reckless. And they've blown up my convoy truck. Now, of course, as you saw, that wasn't me. That was the rebels and the cartel taking shots at it. Regardless, we managed to stop it. Okay, so this is test one. <laughs> this is uh, part one of the test. You know, what is the utility of an LMG? Let's see. Let's take some cover here. Let's take cover and see what we can do against further Unidad incursion. Do we have Santa Blanca up here? I think we do. Get out of my way, Rebel. Yeah, we do have Santa Blanca. Let's see if we can take this guy down. We'll take the Unidad out behind us. We got Santa Blanca appears over here on our left as well. Let's see. Okay, so we've died twice. Oh, we got a sniper up there. But I think, really, so far... We're seeing the... I think just through this candid test, which I didn't plan any of this to happen, obviously. I think this is actually demonstrating pretty well what we can do with an LMG. So long as we don't run out of ammo. Oh, that freaking rubble is right in my way. Get out, dude. Alright, so we get the sniper down. Alright, let's go... Okay, we got that alarm going off. That's not going to be any good. We got less than one magazine of rounds. We got no cover out here. Uh, we're taking fire from a helicopter. Let's get down. Let's get down. Oh, the f those rebels getting in my way. Okay, so... All right, so we died, but we were in a really, really bad p position. Don't do that. Don't piss off your dad and then attack a convoy and a base at the same time. That is not a good idea, guys. <laughs> but we had fun, yeah? So let's continue. Okay, so let's continue with perhaps a more scientific analysis here. The role of the LMG is you got great accuracy over range. You've got pretty decent damage against vehicles. I was taking out the Unidad vehicles with quite a bit of efficiency. I, I would say we took down, what, three or four Unidad trucks pulling up to me. If I had an assault rifle in my hands, even the best of the best, like an AUG A3 or the LVOAC Bad News, I could not have done that. I, I do consider those the best assault rifles, and we can have a video on that later. I do not think I could have dispatched those vehicles that efficiently with any kind of um, AR unless I had a grenade launcher. So we'll take that into account. Now, as long as we're talking about this, and we are kind of... Well, I'm kind of comparing them to assault rifles. I'm trying not to use it in the exact same way. But most people, I, I do feel, primarily use assault rifles as their main weapon. Here, we're looking at the possibility of using an LNG as a main weapon. Now, I could be more scientific with this. You know, like, I could use a controlled environment, which I usually do. I usually use a much more controlled environment for taking down targets. But I don't think... Well, let's be honest. Honestly, I don't think it's as fun. I think this is more fun. And also, combat, you know, in this game doesn't exist in a controlled environment. Combat, ex you know, combat exists in chaos, like what we just experienced. So now you know, if you happen to get swarmed by Unidad and are trying to take a convoy, maybe if you're a little more skilled than me, you can do it with nothing but an LMG. I, just, I still want to have more fun. This gun is really fun. The RPK-74 is a really fun gun. Let's get some ghetto spotting, as I call it, which is where you just hit it, and it didn't pull up any enemies, even though we know there's enemies here. My ghetto spotting didn't work. So we're going to do this unspotted. Let's just see what kind of progress we can make here. Where are the guys? Well, we know there's a guy up there. That's him down. All right, there should be guys over here. Let's just see what we can do. How much progress can we make on this base? You see, I, I came here to do scientific stuff, and now I'm getting distracted because this is just fun. If 
firing these guns is pretty darn fun. There's our alarm. Let's take that out and avoid any chopper incursion. That's that down. That's not a target. We're looking for Santa Blanca targets here. We're not seeing any. If I can take an, if I can take any base, any base is big enough to have an alarm, unmarked, on extreme difficulty, unsuppressed, then I say the weapon passes the test. So let's find out, guys. Let's see what we can accomplish here. They're going to be aware to our presence pretty quick. I was actually going to do bullet drop, but there's not much point. We know these are more accurate than assault rifles. All right, that's him down. They're definitely alert to our presence now, so we need to start being very careful. Let's be careful here. Is there no one in that bunker? There must be someone in that pillbox. There must be. All right, let's be careful, guys. This has turned into, like, this, this is completely so uh, spontaneous. This has turned into a really fun thing, though, here. Guys, I don't see any targets. Where are they hiding? I think they're afraid of us. Well, let's go down here. And get, let's get a little ballsy. We're doing this kind of Rambo style. Well, no, not Rambo style. I just say this is uh, stealth without suppressors. That's, that's the term I use. Stealth without suppressors. Meaning that, of course, we're not being stealthy. We're being very loud, but we're moving around. We're staying mobile so they can't spot us. Now, that's an Unidad helicopter overhead. So we don't want to get in that same mess again. Let's let them pass by before we, before we continue here. Where are these enemies? But again, yeah, this is definitely, this is what I call stealth without suppressors. This is where you stay on the move so they can't find you. And see, we're not suspected or hunted or anything anymore because we've stayed mobile. Let's make sure this building here is clear. The helicopter's gone. Oh, helicopter is eh, mostly gone. Let's make sure this top floor is clear. All right. Let's get down here and let's tactically insert back into the base and <laughs> tactical insertion. If you guys watch my live streams, you know the term tactical insertion. I guess that's not exactly what we're doing. We are actually kind of being slightly tactful here. <laughs> let's get back down here. Okay, let's be very careful. Let's stay alert. There's no one on that gun, oddly. It, they're probably all in bed. But then again, if how did I not wake them up? That's him down. How many more guys are left? Maybe there's maybe three more guys left here, probably. This base is not terribly full of enemies. There's another one down. So, again, this is just feeling out the LMG. What do you use them for? Well, it's working pretty good for this, I gotta say. Guys, I know there's more enemies somewhere here. I know there's more here. Again, we know they're more accurate than ARs over range. Aside from the stoner, you can't suppress LMGs. What you have, though, is... Though you, you can't put a silencer on it, they are good for suppressive fire. You can keep enemies pinned down with suppressive fire better. And you can go longer without reloading. So, I, I guess the correct term would be it's good for a support role. Uh, if you have... If, if you guys are loud and you're trying to cover one of your friends who's doing more precise shooting, you can keep the enemy suppressed. You can keep them pinned down with fire from an LMG. Guys, this base is pretty much clear. I was actually, like I said, I was going to do a bullet drop test. I don't think it's really necessary. These are more accurate than assault rifles. The drawback is... The optics, you can't put any real optics on these. Now, this is the RPK-74. Of course, I can't change the optics on this whatsoever. I can't change this at all. But even the ones you can modify, you can't put anything other than reflex sights really on them. You can put like the EXPS-3. You can put the Russian red dot sight. You can put things like that. You can't actually put any optics with any zoom on them. So even though they're more accurate over range, it's hard to take long range shot with these. It really is. However... Though I did die a couple times, I was able to hold off Unidad, a convoy, and a base for an amount of time before before shit hit the fan. All right, guys, so let's go from here. I'm still trying to, here's the thing, guys. I'm still trying to feel out how to really test LMGs. 
Last time, I think I failed because I was trying to compare it too closely to an AR. This time, what I wanted to do is just kind of feel it out on its own. I think we've been pretty successful. So guys, we're gonna go on from here, but I want your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think about LMGs, how you think I should test them, because it's going to be different circumstances. Let me know in the comments below. Guys, thanks so much for watching. It's been a real pleasure. I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you guys next time.